So we're gonna drop the GoPro with the Slam Shady lure that has no hook, just to give some action by the GoPro down in the water. And that starts right now. Little pin of fish to get started with. Ah, uh, there we go. Mangrove snapper. AKA gray snapper. Those are good size ones right there. They're hugging up close against the seawall. The challenging aspect about catching the mangrove with the pinfish is that the pinfish will pick apart any bait that you use and those mangrove may not have much left to eat shrimp get picked apart quickly using bull minnows you've got a better chance at landing those mangrove snapper a lot of structure at the bottom random bricks kind of a silty bottom floor i suspect that as we go up and down and as we cast we'll see a lot more structure down here more pinfish the world does not need any more pinfish there's tons and you see tons right now again that's the uh side of the seawall look there's some metal pieces beautiful mangrove right there uh there are going to be more mangroves in here. And I don't really know the mangrove if they stay little here and then get to a certain size and head offshore. I'm not certain how that species is, but a lot of structure in Pensacola in the bays and sounds and even closer to the mouth of the pass, there's going to be some mangroves. There's a nice size croaker that no one's going to eat today. Just a pile of rubble. You're going to see a fish probably go back in there. Yep, going to hide in the rubble. Good amount of life down here. There's a slam shady coming in and out. It will get picked apart by the mangroves. They'll, they'll bite pieces of it till it goes away. Uh, the mangrove... Oh, he's coming up close. Give you a good shot of him. Such a beautiful fish. I, I think they're more prettier than the actual red snapper. Their colors change when it's in the bay or when it's offshore. They look more pumpkin in the bay. Surprisingly enough, you know, fish are not camera shy. They're coming up pretty close and then they'll dart away another drop in a different location i made a ton of drops up and down this structure oh look at that a little rock uh top right corner we do have a school fairly large school of ladyfish those are also known as poor man's tarpon, skipjack. They're very fun to catch on top water. You can still see them just shooting through the top right corner. They get a little closer now. Another drop. Oh, that's a cast. This is a cast out to the water. I'm sorry if you got a little nauseous there. This bottom to me looks like Mars. It is such a weird silty substrate that oh there's a mangrove it just it's just such a strange terrain that if you're not used to seeing every day uh, look at that now it even looks more like stranger things like the particulates that are in the air there's some more ladyfish coming through top right corner but that looks like the stranger things now
maybe the directors, the Duffler brothers, looked at some other water photos and said, you know what, I love the way that substrate looks. A little random structure as we reel this back in. There looks like some kind of pole stuck in the ground. And this is going to come all the way back to shore and we'll be in a different location here shortly. Aha, uh -huh. now we're back close to the actual seawall. Those are guardrails, like for controlling uh, maybe a parade. Someone has thrown those in over the seawall. And what a great structure. You can see one there faintly in the background. Now we're getting close to it. I'm sure there'll be some fish close to this. I don't want to lose my GoPro. Whoa! Yeah, that's pretty close. And it doesn't look like barnacles. It looks more like just uh, vegetation that is, that is growing on these guardrails that someone decided to, to throw into the actual water. Again, I just love looking at this bottom. I mean, I... It's just so surreal. Look at that. Stranger Things again. So cool. You know, the more we get down on these fish's level, the more we can understand how to catch them. That straight up looks like Mars. I'm not seeing any ghost shrimp holes. not seeing any other life. There goes the... Ladyfish again. Those things are coming fairly close to the the seawall. You have a heyday throwing a spoon at them. You catch a ton. Look at that. Wow. I don't know what that little fish is. It's got a little spot on it. It looks like some kind of snapper in the far background. Schoolmaster, maybe? Which would be very unusual. Random bricks. This was destroyed by Sally, where I'm at, and so a lot of these bricks probably washed into the ocean, and they had to replace those recently. Slam Shady in the background. Really not going to get a good picture on the Slam Shady. More mangroves there, schooling there towards the bottom. Oh, nice mangroves. So those things are kind of hiding towards the back of the camera. They're smart. They don't want to get on camera too much. we go. Oh, we're stuck in the bottom. Oh, there goes some more fish in the background. Looks like more pinfish. Those are Jack Creval, like little baby jacks. They move pretty quickly. I didn't get a chance to see them. There goes one. Yeah, little, little Jack Creval. Seems like the smaller species of fish, they find some protection up against the seawall. There are some keeper-sized mangrove snapper. There's some more mangroves in the background that just really popped in and out. Oh, now we're into some rocks. It's kind of scary. I'm bouncing off these rocks with a GoPro. Whoa! There's some red nature to that. More structure at the bottom. And here we go. Oh, no, no, no. Don't drop down in here. This may get a little hairy. If I drop down in between that... Oh, nice mangrove. Not, look at these mangrove just following the camera. More pinfish. Beautiful. Oh, oh no. <laughs> We're just, look at this. We're in between. Oh, look at that mangrove coming in. That's sick. Oh, so glad I did not lose the GoPro in that barricade. Uh, City of Pensacola, you've got a lot of barricade that you might want to fish out in this location. Look at all the mangrove. This 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 area is loaded with mango snapper. Such an amazing thing to see. More structure, more rocks, more boulders. Not surprised that there's more snapper by this area. Wow, look at this. More mangrove snapper. So cool. That's a fat one right there. Here we go, another drop. Down. Kind of shocked that we're not seeing any big fish, like red snapper. Uh, there are some in the bay. I'm 
surprised we're not seeing them because this is going up and down that entire seawall. Very interesting that we're not seeing more bigger species. Maybe it's the time of year. This is middle of August. I really don't know what that was. It looks like pinfish. Back against the side of the wall loaded with pinfish. See, if you drop a shrimp down right there, never going to get in front of a mangrove. Another drop. Fish swimming by. I see an area like this, and all I can say is you're going to use a ton of bait weeding through all these little pinfish. You're going to lose some line on the barricades, but it's got fish to target. Very good fish in this location. There goes another pinfish racing in and out. Here comes one wanting a close-up cameo. Let's see more of the bottom of the ocean floor. Here we go. Rocks, pipes, barricades. Pensacola is so historic. There's no telling if we you would just take a camera and just ride slowly what you would find down there. Again, more barricade. Gosh, I could have lost this GoPro so many times. I saw the mangrove following in the background. Nice mangrove right there. Look at that. Two of them. There goes Jack. Another Jack. Another Jack. Here we got School of Jack. These aren't monsters. Thank you so much for watching. It is always a treat for me to go down below and see these fish in their natural environment. I've got many more plans to come for more underwater footage using both the GoPro and also the GoFish cam where we can actually see the bite. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. Join me next time right here. We excite to strike. God bless.